We've been on a long, whoa, bumpy ride here and still haven't arrived at the destination many of you may have been hoping for, but we've gotten somewhere. An update now on my series of reports on forced financing at car dealerships. It really exploded though during the pandemic when demand for vehicles far outpaced supply. Dealers were in the driver's seat and buyers had to buckle up because many of them refused any outside financing and reportedly some dealers wouldn't even take cash for the car, insisting instead that you finance with their preferred lenders, which allows the dealer to increase the interest rate and get a cut. Responding to my reports, state regulators asked for complaints and they got them. You told them that it was happening at nearly 100 Texas dealerships. Well, my reports also inspired State Senator Royce West to file a bill to ban the practice. Despite overwhelming bipartisan support, it died when time ran out on the legislative session. Well, now the feds are involved. The Federal Trade Commission isn't prohibiting forced financing, but they are outlawing some of the things I saw in some of your complaints. Dealers will be prohibited from touting a specific vehicle at a price and then telling you when you get there that it isn't available or isn't available at the advertised price. Also, dealers will have to provide an offering price that any buyer would have to pay no matter how they pay. Those are just some of the new regulations that the FTC estimates will save consumers more than $3.4 billion and 72 million hours a year shopping for vehicles. Now, they don't take effect until July 30th, and violations can be reported to the FTC. Already, they say, they received more than 100,000 complaints in each of the past three years about vehicle transactions. Now, sometimes financing at the dealership may be the best option, or if they force you to use their financing and your lender has a better rate, ask your lender about refinancing it with them right after you buy. More info on the new rules and a link to the FTC complaint portal in today's article posted at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook X and Threads to keep you right on the money.